Hey folks, this is Cymatic Bruce uh, here showing off rigs with an alternate control scheme. What I have here is the SCPH-1110, a PlayStation 1 controller from 1995, but it's as if it was designed to play rigs with the double joystick. It's fantastic. This whole journey began uh, because I played Star Wars X-Wing VR Mission and was really dissatisfied with playing it with a controller. I found out there was a PlayStation 4 stick. Uh, so I picked it up and found out that this PlayStation 4 stick only works with one game, War Thunder, uh, which is quite the disappointment. Um, so after searching and scrounging on the net, I was able to find a way to essentially uh, have this stick and other PC joysticks work on a PlayStation 4 using a little doodad called uh, Cronus Max. So with a Cronus Max, the Cronus software on the laptop uh, able to essentially uh, take a PC, any kind of joystick that a PC recognizes and play it uh, with your PlayStation 4 games. And this is great because there's so many PlayStation VR games that are cockpit games that are just begging uh, for a throttle and stick, or in this case, two sticks, which is amazing. Um, so I had this stick laying around. Uh, I had to pick up an adapter to make it uh, get recognized by the PC. Uh, but after that, it was really, really great. Uh, things have worked out pretty freaking awesome with this thing. Uh, I've got this thing plugged into the laptop, uh, the laptop plugged into the Cronus, Cronus plugged into PlayStation VR, or the PlayStation 4 rather, and it is uh, golden. So this is all working <laughs> miraculously. It's uh, pretty ridiculous. Um, so now I'll just kind of uh, maybe demonstrate a little bit of how it works and switch scenes here and dive right in. So just doing a little bit of this uh, test area here. Um, so on the left deck, uh, I've got forward and backward uh, with up and down left stick and over, over dash uh, with left and right on the stick as well, uh, which is great. And um, this is not the, oh yes, I got the APX unit. So a little bit of do this in midair, which is awesome. On um, the right stick is handling my turning, uh, so right and left, uh, up or forward doesn't do anything on the right stick, but back I have a sign to uh, to dash and backwards, which is great. And then the uh, face buttons are pretty much your different modes. Uh, so over here, press this button. I've got my uh, weapon mode, uh, heal mode on uh, left hand, and then speed. Uh, then of course jump is uh, right there with thumb rest easy and then this stick uh, is pretty interesting and has these buttons like right where the pinkies go I'll kind of turn the sky around so you can see there's like pinky buttons here and here um, and so on the uh, change it back blam um, so on the right pinky I have the melee attack and on the left pinky I have the uh, pass uh, but so uh, that actually works out well and then there this you know this hat is the d-pad which sees no use in gameplay but is useful for doing things uh, in menus and whatnot uh, so uh, that's right and of course there's two triggers on the back so those correspond to different guns and it's absolutely beautiful and this kind of extra bonus that we get here is if you look down um, this is I actually didn't look at the hands before I did this out, <laughs> um, this uh, this layout. But it turns out uh, he actually the, the pilot actually moves the left stick left to dash and uh, and right as well. And it's on to turn. They move the right stick um, and they go forward and backward. They move the left stick um, and of course the trigger, trigger fingers respond when you pull the trigger. So it's. Uh, it's very interesting. I wonder if the developers had a double joystick set up somewhere <laughs> at Gorilla. Uh, because it's like we we're just uh, on the same um, uh, same track there. But uh, yeah, I just have a absolute blast uh, playing this with... Um... Woohoo! Awesome. Oh, oh god. Yeah, this is, it's, ah, it's just brilliant. It just feels so good. It's so immersive because I'm able to get in the same stance as the pilot uh, and really feel like I'm just lost. And it's, it's really great. 
Um, this controller is also very, very cool for Battlezone, uh, which is awesome, especially in the classic mode of Battlezone. Can you, you can just like do you know the, each stick, and it's like the turning the tank uh, using this classic input system. Uh, it's oh, so good, so so good. Um, so that about wraps it up. Uh, if you have questions, I posted a guide on how to set all of this stuff up on uh, the subreddit called uh, VR Cockpit Gaming. Um, so it's dedicated to uh, steering wheels, pedals, sticks, and a combination of VR and doing those things. Um, also, I posted a guide in PlayStation VR subreddit as well. Uh, I'm really excited to jump into rigs. I wasn't impressed by the demo, but read the subreddit and picked it up and I'm totally down. I've been playing some games online and offline trying to get my skill up so hope to see you guys online and in tournament sometime soon. Uh, so it's great, awesome. So thanks for checking it out. Uh, feel free to ping me with any questions if you want to set up similar to this. Um, by the way, uh, these guys, you can find them on like eBay or, or Amazon. I got mine for like maybe 30 bucks or something. Take care. Uh, see you in the arena and good luck. Bye-bye. <laughs>